vamos a pasar a una entrevista con Amir Ahmed, que es el, el, el portavoz del sistema Uconnect del grupo Chrysler, que probamos con el nuevo Cherokee 2014, la Dodge uh, Durango, y también con las camionetas de la Ram. Well, I mean, we're here uh, testing the new Cherokee 2014, all new Cher Cherokee for um, the, the U.S. market and the, the world, actually. What, uh -huh. 165 countries, I believe, is going to be sold, right? Uh -huh. And uh, so you're in charge of all the cool technology that most people are kind of expecting now in new cars. I mean, and, and, and there's some features in, in this system you're going to that are pretty amazing. Can you talk a little bit about that, please? Yeah, I've got a pretty fun job because I get to play around with the stuff that, as a consumer, I use on my <laughs> drive into work and on the way home. But yeah, we're very proud of this new Uconnect Access line of radios. What we have here is our Uconnect 8.4 AN radio. And the really cool thing about it is not only is it 8.4 inches, it's touchscreen, but it's also connected radio, meaning we've got access to the Internet because it has an embedded 3G cell connection. And we've also brought in a lot of very cool Sirius XM features. Um, for instance, you can rewind and replay music you've been listening to. You can tag songs, artists, or sports teams as favorites. So in case they come on any other station on the Sirius band, you'll be able to, with one quick press of a button, um, jump to a station that they're on because you're alerted that one of your favorites is on the radio. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's go back a little bit and explain that in detail. So let's say that I'm um, driving around and uh, I hear, uh, I like Shakira, for example. We all so, do. We all do, yeah, exactly. Uh, so, and then you tag it, and then whenever it comes in another station, Correct. you just, uh, with the press of a tap to the screen, actually, and you get it. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so across the top of it, you'll get an audible beep and a, a visual cue that'll, that'll say favorite artist on the air in the event of Shakira. And then if you press that little pop-up, basically, it'll bring you to a list that has anything that you've tagged as a favorite. Again, it can be a sports team, like the Detroit Tigers. It can be an artist, it can be a song, and then once you do that, you'll press it and you'll jump to that, t that station directly. That's pretty cool. Then the other one, the recording uh, feature. Yeah. So let's say you're driving, you get a call, you listen to your favorite, it could be a sports game or something. You're on the radio and I don't want to miss it. Well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, you get a phone call and then you, you, the, the phone call stops the radio. Correct. And then when you go back, you just play replay, and it, it keeps uh, going for how long? Like 45 minutes, I think? Yeah, so depending on what type of content it is, if it's talk radio, for instance, you're probably looking at about an hour's worth of data you can go back. Um, and that's from the moment you switch to the station. So let's say you were on that station for 20 minutes, and then you receive a phone call, you're on that phone call for 25 minutes, you'll have about 45 minutes worth of data that you can go back and rewind. Wow, excellent. And these are things that you thought about, right? Yeah, again, I mean, the way we look at it is not only do we want to bring in technology, we've got a lot of technology at our disposal, but we really focus on bringing technology that people actually find relevant to a radio and a vehicle. Yeah. Because we can, we can bring all these crazy things into a car, but if it distracts you from driving, or if it doesn't work the way you expect it to work, then you're not really focused on the drive. And what some people forget is driving is the most important task while you're behind the wheel. Well, hopefully, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And actually, that's a good uh, segue to my next question that I was thinking about. Like, all this new technology yeah. and how, how challenging it is. I mean, you more or less already answered before I, 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 I asked the question. To integrate all these and uh, don't get, uh, I guess, don't surpass, like, all the legislation and, uh, and, and, and laws that are around the country, But like as you said, like make the driver still aware that he's driving, he or she are driving the car, and uh, but make it accessible. I mean, it it must be very very challenging, you know. It's a, it's a challenge, but at the same time, as a as an automotive company, that's our responsibility. We understand that we're not helping anybody out there if we're building cars that are distracting. Um, we want to make sure our our owners and passengers are very safe when they're behind the wheel of the car. So like you said, the really great thing about how we operate is all these technologies work in harmony with the car. So we work very closely with our interior design team, for instance, to make sure everything's within reach, everything works a certain way, we've got redundant controls for buttons. So for Yeah, people still like the knobs and changing exactly, station, yeah. the volume and all that, right? We want you to come in and use the technology at your own pace. So when you get behind the wheel, you're not searching for things, you're trying to figure out how to use it. You know, unlike um, like a tablet, for instance, where yeah. you're sitting on a chair and you have your own leisure to figure it out. When you're behind the wheel of a car, You just want to know how to do it. And that's why we've, we've tried to really simplify things by bringing a lot of voice commands as yeah. well. And um, the other thing is that uh, the voice command uh, features in this car are pretty amazing. So, for example, if, if we just hit this and we give, give a command, lower temperature to 60 degrees. Setting all temperatures to 60 degrees. That's pretty amazing. So the car really understands you. You don't have to touch any buttons. You don't have to do touch any knobs. I mean, you just like... 
it's up really to the car. Yeah, again, and that's that's what we strive on doing. And in fact, that's what we even put for 2014, and the Cherokee will be one of the first cars to have it. We actually have uh, what we call teleprompter, so it shows up on screen. So when you hit one of the voice control buttons, you'll actually get pop-ups of commands that you can say while you're driving, so that again, you're not fumbling around for an owner's manual. We're using a lot of natural voice, so customers can say what they do. Owner's manual, another thing that I want to ask, when are they going to put it into the system? I mean, I think there's a law that you have to have the thick book in the glove compartment. I mean, you could put it there, right? And I can ask the car, like, how to change the battery, and I get an answer from there. Would that be possible? Something that's going to happen? Never say never. I mean, that's, that's a great thing about having these enabling technologies is now we're at a position where we have some very, very tremendous hardware And over time, the, how we execute it and how we update it is kind of up for debate because now we have the technology in place that we can update it over time. So when you buy a car, let's say you buy a car this year, yeah. two years from now, it's not obsolete. You can keep updating it. That's amazing. So my, uh, if you haven't figured it out, we started moving. Uh, we're driving the new 2014 uh, Jeep Cherokee, and like uh, Kevin is so silent. So even though we're moving, we don't you don't hear much about it. And uh, we're going to go off-roading, so we're going to – finish the interview right now because I think it'll be much safer, <laughs> speaking of not uh, doing many things while driving. So, I mean, thank you very much for the chance, and uh, I guess people can find more information about Chrysler at Chrysler.com. Chrysler.com, and if you want to learn about Uconnect, you can visit driveuconnect.com as well. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, and um, uh, can, can you give a command to listen to our station, 153? <laughs> yeah, tune to satellite station, Christina Radio. Tuning to satellite channel. Christina Radio. Well, thank you very much again. Uh, we're going to pay attention now to the off-roading part of the event. Thank Let's, you, Amir. My pleasure. Let's do this.